now in, in COVID times, telemedicine is just exploding. Uh, we used to do it for select instances previously, but now um, with COVID, it, it really has become a mainstay of, of the way we can evaluate and get information from our patients. I'm Dr. Ed Laskowski of the Departments of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation and also the Division of Sports Medicine in the Department of Orthopedics at Mayo Clinic Rochester. And I'm here to tell you about our, our paper entitled The Telemedicine Musculoskeletal Examination. As we, as we go through this, musculoskeletal, is our, the, these are some of the most common complaints that people will present with to their primary care physician and to any physician, uh, whether it be back pain or neck pain or hip pain or knee pain or shoulder pain. Uh, these are the common things that we see every day. So uh, we, uh, we put this paper together to give a guideline for physical examination techniques for the musculoskeletal physical exam. And when we're doing a virtual exam, it is, it's hard because a lot of the maneuvers that we do face-to-face, uh, -face, um, it's, it's hard to replicate the information we get from those maneuvers over a video. But we tried to take some of the um, validated and accepted physical examination techniques for musculoskeletal physical exam that we all, all use every day, and we tried to apply them to the virtual situation. So um, many of these will have the patient themselves performing some of these maneuvers with the proper instruction. And, and our paper also includes pictures uh, to show the positions of some of these exam techniques and also videos, videos that the patients can also uh, watch to show uh, what they're going to be doing and what they're going to be asked to do during the exam part. So we cover the examination of the uh, shoulder, of the hip, of the knee, of the ankle, and also of the cervical and lumbar spine. So we hope these are, are really helpful as you perform your virtual physical exam. We hope that these can give you good information and useful information that you can use in, in treating your patients. And uh, again, these are, these are not validated uh, because they are, a lot of them will be performed by the patients, but they're based on validated techniques that, that we use now for the musculoskeletal exam. So hopefully you'll, you'll find these of use to yourself in your practice and in your uh, virtual patient evaluations. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.